Well, we've been tracking that smoke coming from the Canadian wildfires for the past couple of days, and finally it's been settling in. At first, we were talking about the upside to that with some pretty sunrises and sunsets, but now it's taking a turn a little more of a serious nature. We're actually looking at the forecast into tomorrow as that air quality alert has been continued. That's specifically for uh, unhealthy conditions for sensitive groups. And where you see that blue and into the uh, yellows and the reds, that's an indication as the smoke begins to move in again from the north across much of central and eastern Ohio. So that really looks to be clearing out by Thursday and hopefully by then we'll catch a break. But the following counties and communities, Columbus, Delaware, Newark, Lancaster, under that air quality alert again into Wednesday. And a quick look at who is impacted. It's the groups with that have some heart lung disease, asthma, the older and the younger, the elderly and the children. They should limit their outdoor activities. So as we look at the conditions there, we're also going to bring in meteorologist Ross Caruso for an update on how these folks are impacted by this air quality alert. By now, you're probably already aware of the air quality alert that we have in for the day, and that is specifically unhealthy for those sensitive groups. The worst time is when we are typically at the warmest part of our day. More information on this, on particularly who is at risk, it's for those people with heart, lung disease, elderly, and children who should ultimately limit your time outside. It doesn't mean you can't go outside, but you want to take lots of breaks if you have some outdoor projects to make sure that you're keeping yourself safe. For anyone else that may not be included in that risk group, you can do other things to also help deplete the overall amount of pollutants that are getting put in the air. That's simply by just avoid any outdoor burning, having fire pits, avoid taking your vehicle for multiple trips, idling, and make sure if you do have to fuel up, fuel up late into the evening once we've cooled off. And again, you want to avoid cutting the lawn, especially with those gas powered lawn equipment items. So you can do your part to help everyone else, and hopefully we can see this alert be gone for good. Reporting for 10TV News, I'm Doppler 10 meteorologist Ross Caruso.